Hey, this is Red Band, and you're listening to the Death Squad Podcast Network. This episode of Your Mom's House and all the episodes of Death Squad can be found at DeathSquad.tv. We really need to ha- subscribers, so please subscribe to us on iTunes. Either open up iTunes and search for Death Squad, or go to DeathSquad.tv, click on the subscribe link, and that will open up iTunes. Just hit subscribe, and then please rate and review our show also. Even if you don't listen or use iTunes, please help us out with subscriptions. That helps us with the iTunes ranking system system which unfortunately for a podcast that seems like that's the only thing that matters nowadays but whatever and if you could help us out by with donations you could also click on the donation link at deskquad.tv for more information on that and now here is your mom's house Your mom, your mom. <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house. I am Christina Pajitsky, and I am here with Ryan Redband. Hi, mommy. Yeah. And uh, the mommy Tommy Salami is in Canada this week in Winnipeg, I believe at Yuck Yuck. So if you're there, go check him out. And standing in for Tommy Mommy is our honorary Southern Mommy. Please <laughs> welcome the very funny, one of my favorite human beings on this planet, Sarah Tiada. Mommy! Hello, everybody. She's been on the mom cast before, and she's graced us. Yeah. Um, with her presence again. I know. It's crazy. Ever since I saw you, I started a uh, dad cast. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I hope that's okay. It's kind of fucked My up. My stepmom cast. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, I'm surprised you even made it out here today because I know that today is a holy holiday for hillbillies and rednecks of your <laughs> kind everywhere. Yeah, because. Huge. Uh, the Chick Fil A oh. has just opened in Los Angeles. <laughs> yes, I can't believe you're here when Chick Fil A is open. Well, in someone's Hollywood. saving my place in line, <laughs> so I, I can only stay for 45 minutes. Okay. I never got Chick Fil A because I, I didn't have a Chick Fil A growing up. I think that's like if you if you had a Wendy's growing up and you didn't you know like that would be the same thing if you didn't have a Wendy's by you, right? You are you saying never, that like you don't like Chick Fil A because well, you didn't grow up? I dated somebody that awesome. was I dated somebody that that was in love with it, like obsessed with it, and I. I went Everybody to a grand is. opening by uh, Six Flags, and I got it. I was like, "Oh, okay, it's just chicken sandwich." Oh, wait a second, there's the fuck it, oh, just the chicken sandwich. <laughs> chicken Look, sandwich. I'm not redneck, but I will tell you that I had a Chick Fil A on my way to Vegas with with Tommy, mommy, and it <laughs> it blew my mind. <laughs> Part. Really? And I can I tell you that they really cater to a fat person's sensibilities because they offer like eight or nine different dipping sauces. Oh, you and, get it? They don't charge you either. You can oh, have as many as you they want. They have a dipping station, <laughs> they and, have it, and yeah. it's like in little bathtubs. You know, they're yeah. not like little squeeze packets. It's the best. It's for fatties. And but the chicken, the way it's it's so, and I don't like to use this word. It's juicy. It's moist. Yeah, yeah. moist. Wow. I went to the wrong. I got the wrong thing. Then I guess. Will you turn this up, Brian? I, yeah, I, I can't hear myself in headphones. Well, you know what? Uh, it's different. It's uh, because they uh, fry it in peanut oil. No, instead it, of peanut oil. oil? Is yeah, that like, true? Instead of vegetable meow, oil meow, or meow. Can- canola oil, which most people do. Oh, that's do. good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sweetness. Oh, they fry it in. So it's completely in- fattening. It's like the, the worst for you. It hasn't been dietized like all the other places. Is that what you're saying? No, no. I think peanut oil, it just, what peanut oil makes things burn faster. And a lot of It's made from faster. like slaves. Which seals oil. in the moisture. <laughs> What's it made? <laughs> clan juice. <laughs> Whatever fucking. Yeah. Well, have you ever had juice. clan juice? It's actually pink lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it's really, really. So good. one opened right on sunset, which seems yeah. like yeah. the worst so idea crazy. in the whole it entire does. world because it's right on the corner of Sunset and Highland, I believe, yeah. which is a very busy place. Oh, I just yeah. drove past on the way here, and it's it's backed up asshole to asshole for fucking <laughs> really. Uh, there's so many. Well, people. we were gonna camp out yesterday, you know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, because you know the first hundred people who buy a Chick Fil A get free Chick Fil A for, for a year. year. Yeah. Yes, that's why you camp out. Yeah. What are we doing here? And when I was driving home last 
last night we drove past it and there were a ton of people yeah, sitting still out alive. there on all but I think also they might have been homeless because there are a lot of, <laughs> yeah, that's what's there's a say. lot of tables and chairs just <laughs> sitting so, outside. So what other all they're doing is they're sealing the deal for having homeless people like mobbing there every day. Wow. And then the next thing you know, there's just gonna be a bunch of fat homeless people in six months <laughs> hanging out at Chick-fil-A. It's gonna be Morbidly. like a freak show. Morbidly obese and Christian, because aren't isn't Chick Fil A like Mormon or something? Like no, they they're Christian and they uh-uh. openly do not hire gay people. Oh, and I wasn't well, going to support Chick-fil-A. them, but then I'm like, I fucking love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and you they're closed I mean? Sundays. It is. A- yes, they're closed on Sundays. They're never open on Sundays. And-, and wait a minute. So you're telling me that they openly discriminate? Yes, openly. Yeah, if That's a gay person walks legal. in, they throw chicken sandwiches at. They're them. in a privately funded company. <laughs> <laughs> So Would that be stupid. funny? Get out of here, gay guy. <laughs> I figured so there were going to be protests. Like, how dare you? I, I, I want to fucking protest. Yeah, that. I would Fuck protest Chick-fil-A. that. That's bullshit. Fuck Chick Fil A. Wait a minute. But how can they do that? Isn't that against the civil no, they're rights? They're not a. They're not a publicly traded company, and uh, and because of religion, they. You know, because oh, so they're exercising a religious freedom as opposed saying, to being discriminated. So they're God hates fags that sell chicken sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's and you're terrible. supporting that? No, they. I, I think that they. Fuck Chick-fil-A. But they have dipping sauces. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the thing. Is it this one. It's I'm so difficult deaf, to navigate. I'm sorry. Which one am I? What is wrong with you? I what can't is happening. I, listen, I got so many brilliant things to say, and <sighs> I need to really hear myself say them. Maybe try different headphones? Maybe try. Yeah. Oh, here, mommy. I did it. Uh, okay. So, sorry. So, Chick fil A. And then also, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you know this, our listeners, but I, uh, Sarah Tiana and I went to Afghanistan together. So, yeah. she's one of the women, along with Jody Miller. That we spent a blissful two and a half weeks yes. uh, in Afghanistan, and, and uh, Which is, I think we talked about it last time I was here. Do I don't know if we had gone at the time. I think maybe oh, yeah. it was before or after. I think we did it right after we got back. Well, I'm really pleased to say that Sarah came back with a wonderful souvenir. Right. <laughs> What meningitis, <laughs> spinal meningitis. Did you did you hear that, Brian? Did you know that? Uh, yeah, I was in you the You really had spinal meningitis. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just, just got out of the yeah. hospital. Wait a minute. This isn't quite a dental update, but Whoa. it is a medical Wait. update. Oh my god. <laughs> this what? is horrifying. Oh my yeah. god. I didn't know actually people really got that. Well, I get a text yes. from Sarah Tiana um, about three weeks ago on my way, I think, to Vegas. Where, is that when it, when it was in your life? I don't know where you were. <laughs> yeah, I was somewhere else. And Is that where I was, Sarah? And, and it was like, I'm in the hospital. I have fucking meningitis. And like, I, well, I love Because you. we had talked a few days before and I was saying Ugh. that I was really sick. Like I had this headache and I couldn't Ugh. figure out what it was. So I was texting you and people that I had been talking to about it. Like, turns out it wasn't just a headache it was spinal meningitis like they had to do like a lumbar puncture you know where like you Uh, lean over and they take spinal fluid out a spinal tap is what so basically what happened was like i had a headache for nine days what is this music this is the actual song that sarah wrote about her experience (laughs) listen what is happening That's terrible. Oh my god, that is. <laughs> this song is called Spinal Meningitis. Uh, it's all about a little girl with spinal meningitis. This is terrible. Don't play Who this. Writes this song? Who is this? Ween. <laughs> Fuck this. This is a terrible song. It's one of song. the funniest songs ever. It's Spinal oh, Meningitis. It's not funny. That's funny. Yeah. What, what are you, fucking sick? <laughs> That's she, the only thing I know about Spinal Meningitis. Man, so I'm very interested to know listen, what it actually is. I apologize. Mom's house listeners, Red Band is mentally challenged and has no sympathy. No, no, no. Uh, I actually don't know what Spinal Meningitis oh, is. Well, I oh. only know Spinal Meningitis from the song. I didn't actually, I thought it was something like oh, uh, like some can, kind of spine thing that you're you born with. Tell that, me what you, is you Spinal can, Meningitis is. You can fucking is. die from All right, I had no idea. Oh my God. <laughs> People die within, you can die within like 48 hours. Well, that's bacterial. Here. Okay, so Spinal sorry, explain. Longer. You know this obviously better, right. so go ahead. Sorry. I'm what such a retard. Happened? Yeah, Sorry, let, I let had no idea. No, no, no. There's, I, I mean, obviously it's God. funny to me. It's horrifying. So I I just had so this horrible headache. headache that wouldn't go away. Oh. And I kept thinking, oh, gosh, did I just like not drink enough caffeine today? Or am I dehydrated? Like, what is going on? And I would take medicine and like it wouldn't even make a dent in the pain, right? Oh, You're sure. listening so to Wayne. I go to Atlanta, <laughs> and then 
uh, I, I've had a headache for five days by this mm. point, and it's like almost paralyzing how how much pain it is. So it's not just like, oh, I have a fucking headache. It's like I can't get out of bed. It's like it's uh, it's like a. Gosh! Like, have you ever had a migraine? Like, attention. It's like a migraine where you, it, everything is so bright, but then also I start. It started moving to other parts of my body, so like my oh. head would be hurting, but then also my back. Like, I wouldn't be able to stand up, and I couldn't tilt my neck, and like, plus I'm having to do stand up in Atlanta. Oh, at this point. why didn't you just fuck. go right to the hot? I would have done that. I did at go the to the hospital, the and they said uh, it's just a cold. Oh, and I said shit. no. I think it's meningitis. Like I did research on oh, WebMD and stuff, <laughs> and like it was but, either AIDS or spinal meningitis, yeah. right? <laughs> wait, wait. So no, no. Which no, no. I did say that when I went. I'm like, if I have AIDS, just tell me. You can just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> If I so have like, AIDS. So, like, the nurse comes in, oh, and this shit. was when I was in Chattanooga, after I'd already done my shows. And at this point, I'm starting to slur my speech and oh. stutter, and I can't walk as great. And uh, the lady goes, oh, I hear you're here for a headache. And I'm like, bitch, I am not here. Yeah. For, I don't have health insurance. I'm not here on vacation, oh, motherfucker. My. So you don't have health insurance so I don't either. have health insurance. So I, which is supposed to, like, I just let it last because I have SAG insurance that starts in April. So I was like, oh, okay. oh I'll be fine. God. Of course. So anyways, oh, I, uh, they tell me it's just a cold and I come back to L.A. And... Now it's like the walking and the talking are incredibly difficult, and I can't remember words. So basically, like my central nervous system is shutting down because that's what the meningitis does. It attacks your, it's in your brain fluid and your spine fluid, and it's bacteria, right? So it just starts like changing all of your neurological functions. Wow! And you can fucking drop dead from this. Yeah, I mean, you can quickly. Did did you did like? Could you even walk? Could you even did it get to the point where you couldn't do it? Like you weren't functioning could, at all. I could walk and I muscled through the talk, but I would say like I'm gonna go, 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 oh go you know, like go God, to the. Uh, oh my God. Uh, so you're like having a stroke, kind of a slow stroke. I guess so. Yeah, it's just basically a breakdown of all your neurological wow. system. Oh. So <laughs> damn. I, <laughs> so then I go to that like I go to the hospital and like. I, I well, I go to go to see this neurologist, and he's like, "You need to get to the hospital right away." I'm pretty sure it's meningitis, and so I go, and like, they're taking my my vital signs, and the late and I the lady's uh, taking my blood pressure, and she's like, "What are your symptoms?" And at this point, it's so hard to talk, and and, and I have so many symptoms because at this point, everything in my body is shutting down, and I go, "I think I have meningitis," and she rips the thing off my arm, and she's like, Ugh, "You do not have meningitis. <gasps> like, you no. would not be walking around." Apparently. I'm just so fucking tough that I've been walking you and talking are. and muscling through the pain, you know, because women can tolerate pain and a you lot. you are tough. And so, you know, they just send me. So, like, then I have to wait in the the lobby for, like, three and a half hours because no one really believes oh there's anything wrong. Oh, my God. And then I go and I'm laying in. They finally take me back and they're doing all these blood tests and they can't figure out what's wrong. And, uh, and the nurse and I are talking and she's like where um were you like did you say you were out of the country and i said yeah i was in afghanistan and she's like well what were you doing there and i was like buying property you know because that's what i always say (laughs) i was buying a summer home and then she's like starts laughing and i'm like no no i was performing for the troops and she goes oh my son is in afghanistan and i was like oh no way you know like where is he and she said i don't know i don't want to know and i'm like i get it you know and then i said you know i'm a comedian and and she goes, oh, my God, my son said he met a comedian. No. So she comes over to my bed, and she's, like, looking through, and she's like, oh, my God, that's you. And she turns the phone around, and it's Shut me up. and Christina and Jody with her son. Unbelievable. This lady in the hospital, like, crazy. Wow. And Isn't I'm like, ah, oh, the scene of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Afghanistan. Yeah. And then I, wow. she's, I said, what's your last name? And she said, Miller. You know, they always have their names on their shirt. And I remember that kid because we kept saying Jody should marry him because oh then she God. wouldn't have to change change your last name Whoa. and i remember that was also the camp where that was where the afghan national army was when we got mobbed <laughs> after the show yes that we was got mobbed real. you know that could have been where has this changed your whole like what you feel about traveling overseas now no i would no. still go tomorrow you know but can I, I tell you that sarah tiana is so tough i'm serious <laughs> i mean this girl we were flying in Afghanistan. It was 120 degrees, 100 fuck it. It's so hot there, right? And we were we had Kevlar vests <laughs> yeah. and helmets that weigh 50 pounds. 
And one day we were flying to some base, and Sarah gets off the helicopter, and she she's not feeling well, and she vomits. Okay? And now, if I were to vomit, it would be like a fucking five. Yeah, everyone here, everyone come over here, cradle me, hold me, I'm going to cry. It's going to be a big production. Sarah Tiana basically fucking wipes her mouth and is like, all right, let's do this, and like gets on stage. Yeah. And I was like, wow, man, like that's... And, and I'm the whole time like, are you okay? Do you need... And she's like, no, fuck it. Like, she needs some mouthwash. Yeah, you need some rippets or whatever they give you. <laughs> and then you're back. And it was so... It's crazy. So I do believe that you were walking around with this awful, awful yeah. disease and, and possibly ignoring it or pushing through because you're just, so... You're fucking crazy. Man. It is yeah, pretty crazy because man. also I got <laughs> I got out of the hospital and it took me, you know, well, I mean, I was there for... And even when I was there, like my IV like busted in my arm, and I was like oh. in a lot of pain from my from all the injections. And then they they did an AIDS test because I requested yeah. it. Yeah. I'm also, by the way, making the whole staff laugh. Like <laughs> my friend Clinton Pickens yes. went with me through the Very whole emergency kid. process, and we like that's the only way I know how to deal with pain. Right? It's like making fun of how ridiculous everything I is. So I'm constantly like. Do I have AIDS? Just tell me it's That's okay. So funny. Am I gonna turn black from this? Like I'm asking like all these ridiculous questions. Am I gonna turn black? <laughs> Can I get visitors and do they have to be celebrities? Like all this oh, stuff. Like, do you great. want my autograph? It's okay if you do. <laughs> Don't tell TMZ I'm here. Like, Did you ever... see me on the activity commercial? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my Am many... I still going to be able to eat candy every day? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but you don't have insurance. Is that? No. So what's going to But the good happen? thing about Cedar sinai is that when you don't have insurance, you do get, a, get to go through a charity program. So I'm still waiting oh, to find God. out. What? Well, I already get like a 75% discount just because I will end up paying. That didn't happen to me. I went to Senior Sire Night for a panic mm. attack and it cost me $2,000. Well, that's a bullshit like that. disorder. But you can also you call the, the company that, you know, the hospital and say, like, is there any discount? I'm happy to pay cash. And they'll usually give you, like, 80% off. Are you fucking I'm not kidding. serious? Yeah. It's happened to me before. What kind of trickery is this? Listen, they were like, Red oh, Band. we can make a payment they just plan make, for you. They just want, they, you can. If you, if you pay just $10 a month, they'll still, yeah. Yeah. it still keeps well, you, you in you good standing. You can't stand. get a discount for smoking too much weed. <laughs> you can't walk in there. I'm going to panic attack. <laughs> That was the worst. Is that was that from weed? It, no, it was from not eating and working too much. And oh, then I, sure. I had like three beers, and I just started getting. I had one of those huge Mountain Dew Monster drinks, like that, the, <laughs> like that, that, the thirty-two ounce. I don't ever drink them. Why would you drink that? I don't so know. I was like, I need to wake up. Mountain Dew makes an energy <laughs> drink. That sounds amazing. Oh, and so I drank. That. I started having heart palpitations, and then I'm like to this age where I'm like thirty-seven now, where I, everything I feel like is a heart attack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course. <laughs> so so like. like your first guess. I'm yeah. just driving like, and then I'm overthinking and then I pull over and I just did one of those things where you like call 911 but you don't hit send. You're just looking at the phone like I'm going if anything happens this is going to be real fast. I could just throw my phone on the ground and be like uh, you know like I, 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 you're <laughs> biologically 37 emotionally like 12 or 12, something like that yeah. right. You're like wow. Red Fox now. I love it. Do you have how many safari outfits do you have? Do you have like like a closet full of like Jack Hanna like yeah. brown UPS? I do. I do. I I, I normally rent them out for Halloween, but I have I have two left right now. That's hilarious. Yeah, most of them, sometimes I wear like sometimes people are like, oh, do you uh, host the the Jungle Cruise at Disneyland? <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. I'm just going to Wyoming. <laughs> well, I'm really glad that you're better. Thank and I you. was very worried for you and not worried enough to visit. I was going to say worried. not worried enough to come to the hospital and risk. I was in Las Vegas. You were no I- Arizona, somewhere shittier and. Yeah. making a living and um, I did get quite a bit of, I did get some visitors though that's that yeah. is how you know who's really your friend and like okay. who really well, <laughs> I mean no 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 Scottsdale you did call me did, we did we were you. communicating and so yeah. you know like I did like I think you know you're always like as an artist we have so many friends you're like who's gonna come to my funeral who will visit me in the hospital if I ever really got sick of so course. that was kind of a good way to let me know. Well, I'm glad that the the financial aspect because I didn't want to bring that up as you were in the hospital. Because you I know what, we I about swear, it. And I was like, I, oh, this fuck. is not a plug because obviously we're not advertising hospitals. But Cedar Sinai was like. I, they did such a good job good. that I, I'm great. happy to pay them for the rest of my life yeah. because they saved, they saved my ass. life. Yeah. And not only that, they just were very nurturing and kind and 
you know, I mean, obviously, except for like the lady that took my vitals or whatever. But. What a cunt. Let's go. Yeah. What's her name? What's I don't know. Ratchet's I couldn't see name? at the time. So I couldn't see, you know, like everything was very fuzzy. I started losing vision. Can I too. tell you that, that they're so callous in this medical. I just, I had like a minimal procedure done, the dermatologist. And it's, a, it's a, I had like a, an ingrown hair removed under my eyebrow. And this guy was so bad at it. And he just butchered it. And it was purple. And it still looks like I'm covering it oh, up because I'm so it. embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. And I was just devastated. And I walked out and there's this big bruise. And the cunt, the <laughs> fucking cunt rag working there, I go, I said, look, man, is this going to scar? I'm a fucking entertainer. And he's like, no, the cuts are superficial. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bitch, I'm superficial. Is this going to leave a scar? And the, the nurse was like, don't worry about it. Nobody's even going to notice it. And I'm like, bitch, you're not the one with a fucking mark on your face yeah. right now. So you can say that to me. And it's very disrespectful. And, and they don't have feelings. I think when people work with, uh, you know, in the healthcare industry for too long, they become very callous. And they forget that you're a person. So yeah. I'm glad overall it was a good thing <laughs> for you. It was. Yeah. yeah. Good. Have you guys ever good. heard of the old L.A. Zoo? Uh, yeah, it's creepy as shit. Yeah. It's, I went there the other day and it you was. Did? Yeah. And I went through like the, all the. Uh, like, where is, oh, isn't that where they do the haunted rides for ha- for Halloween? They do like a, a whole. Oh, I like those pictures. Yeah. They do. Um, it's at the top of Griffith Park. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And they do. Yeah. They set it up for Halloween. Are and it's serious? like it's. Um, Let's go. They do a out. haunted hayride. And then like <gasps> that's the haunted house is the old zoo. Oh, wow. It's pretty wow. crazy. I always see it lit up at night because we live over there by there. Check us out. Like there was, there's like like cells that yeah. like graffiti. I thought the coolest thing was it. all the graffiti. There's well, uh, how long does it take monkeys to do that? <laughs> but there's like awesome graffiti. <laughs> and by there. monkeys, I mean. Yeah, I was gonna say hey. that's very racist, Sarah. <laughs> well, so knows. well, that's cool. I want to go. I want to go check that out. I don't like Halloween at all. What at all? I, I thought that's up. like hillbillies no. love wearing sheets and running around. In the <laughs> But that's Why? not Halloween. That's Fourth of July. <laughs> uh, no, I I just don't like being scared. It's like I don't like scary movies. Oh, you either. don't. That's so right. like that movie Shark Night. I mean, really, Shark Night. I yeah, mean. that's the one with like sharks Wait, in a lake. You're a tough come girl. on. Like I'm just saying. Like I think that that meeting they're like, oh well, we put snakes on a plane. We can put sharks <laughs> in a fucking lake. People will watch this shit. They, and they do. And then they do. And, and like I think do. I'm terrified of dying in a shark attack. I don't know. I like. I know it's really arrogant to think of everybody in the ocean like a shark's gonna be like, Rrr. maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, she's very looks meaty. You're very tan. <laughs> I think also I'm just terrified of dying in a bathing suit. <laughs> That's part of it. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> or you're just like, oh god, please don't let people see me like this. Oh, with your fucking fat shit. Halloween, you. like I just don't see why people like to get scared. I love it. Yeah, I, I, I don't love it. It's funny that you're such a tough girl, but you're scared of monsters and sharks and stuff. You're supposed to be like this Chuck Norris of a girl, right? She you can't really be scared is. of the cupcakes. Well, I can't stuff. be good at everything. Well, Sarah, let me tell you something. Sarah watches football, which makes her a dude. Right, it She's does. Fucking, I don't just watch it. Uh, I have a it. fantasy team and two football oh my pools, God. which I am winning. Gender trade. Oh, winning. Well, I'm glad you brought this up because we we had this debate last time. Yeah. Um, we did a Would You Rather, <laughs> and I want to thank everybody that responded with their responses. <laughs> it was a very popular round of Would You Rather, and I'm going to ask Sarah Tiana what her answer would be, and then I will reveal what the consensus was amongst our listeners. So, Sarah T, <laughs> first I'm going to ask you I have the no one, idea what you're going to ask me. The one that we all did, and then I'm going to ask you one specifically tailored for you. Okay. So, first off... Uh, would you rather, there's two scenarios, you send out an Evite uh, for Christmas Day for your entire family to come over, and right before everybody opens presents, you go, wait guys, I got a really funny video to show you, okay? Now the video can be one of two scenarios. First scenario, it is you masturbating to the point of completion. <laughs> And it's just you and your O face and mom and dad and granny pants uh-huh. and ding dong dangle get to see that. Or uh-huh. or the video is you getting bukkakied by ten homeless guys. What does bukkake mean? I'm glad you asked. So bukkake is when people, men, they bugak, they love explode oh, on okay. your face. Spider-Man your face. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to eat the jizz. You just have to let it fall on your face. That's, that's part of the game. 
But so, she has to. Does but she, that's she the has video? to have her mouth open during the whole thing. She has to be like, no, no, Brian. That wasn't part of the no. original deal. Oh, well, I just want to think of it <laughs> yeah. as that way. You don't have to scoop it and put it in your mouth, but they do have to ejaculate on your face. Homeless guys ten. Um, which one oh, do you choose? I'm throw up. And it's yellow tinted. <laughs> The homeless yeah. jizz? Yeah. It's just because they're so dirty. Wait, my family has so to watch cigarettes. either one of these yeah. videos? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a lose-lose. But it's before... Of course. That's why it's a would-you-rather. It's it's Sophie's Choice. But everybody in your family has to watch it before presents. Yeah. That's, Sophie's that's Choice one. was easy compared to this decision. <laughs> right um, before presents. That's the other case. Right before... <laughs> that's what Tom likes to add. Like, it what has would to be I before rather? gifts. I mean, I guess I would rather... Show the video of me masturbating. Really? Really? That's really? So crazy. Yeah, we don't agree on that. Red Band and I are not. Because then I don't have to go through homeless people jizzing on my face. <laughs> yeah, but that, like that's two mortifying things that I'd have to go through. The other way, it's just one. <laughs> Do you see how her logic differs? <laughs> yeah. she, she's not even thinking in terms of like my family's gonna watch this and it'll be embarrassing. Like yours yeah, you're gonna just... have a big dildo like going into your vagina in HD right in front of your parents. Yeah. Or you could just be sitting here going, "This sucks." Well, I think my parents would turn away if they saw that. No, they if, can't turn away. Yeah, no, no, they they away. Clockwork orange you style. Say, eyes open. You didn't say. No, that's what we meant. <laughs> you didn't say. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah, you can't so, rewrite the rules. So, I'm just saying, they would not be able to turn away if they saw jizz getting on their face. <laughs> they would not be able to turn away? No, they would love that. <laughs> so, I would rather punish my family and show them me mess. Oh, <laughs> I think we need to like force her to do this now or something. I don't know. Why, why? She's so nonchalant. She's like, know, like what the clearly. Fuck? This is weird. Yeah. What do you not have? Like, are you not embarrassed? I, I'm taking it that, that it seems to be that you're very open with your family then. You no, know. not at all. But oh, oh. I've seen it before. Yeah. I <laughs> masturbate all the time. Thanksgiving. Oh. Are, we all mutually masturbate yeah. together at the kitchen table. No, I'm it mutually. Just, I don't want them to feel like I'm giving to the homeless. <laughs> I think that's part of it, too. <laughs> How dare you? Hey, wait, speaking of the homeless, have you seen the guy that looks like Kyle Kinane in our neighborhood? The homeless guy? <laughs> the homeless Kyle Kinane's in front of Trader I can Joe's. never know if it's hipsters or homeless people. <laughs> and if, like, Kyle Kinane is a hipster or homeless. He's I can never both. tell. He's awesome. I can't tell, but I love his tweets about uh, pizza. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. So, just so you know, listeners... Tom and I discussed the consensus, and it seems that people were tweeting me, because I, I personally went for the homeless bukkake, uh, as did Red Band, mm-hmm. um, because the thought of <laughs> masturbating and so having gross. my mom and my dad see my O face is so horrifying. Um, so I chose homeless bukkake, and uh, I got a lot of responses saying that they agreed, and then Tom says that it was pretty close to that he got a bunch, so... I think homeless Bukaki won in the end by just a margin. No, you only a think slim. that because you because I chose it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, everybody's votes don't count, but I you're did. the deciding vote. Uh, yeah, that, basically so Tom's no not point. here. Yeah, Tom's not here, so I say it's homeless Bukaki that won. <laughs> Mm. I wish he you, was here. Oh, no. <laughs> your 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 fear <laughs> is uh, dying with a bikini. My fear is dying in just with all these computers. Because I don't know if you guys like put like what you put on your Radiation. computers, but it's getting like the best diary ever. Oh, like the most yeah. detailed diary oh, with yeah. photos and videos and emails and messages. Yep. What you so, jerk off to. Right. So I'm thinking you, my yeah. mom, I die, my mom has to have all these computers and the sure. first, she's retired, yeah. so she's just going to sit there and scroll and look at all the shit that I have on cash, my computer man. and be like what the fuck is my yeah. son? Oh yeah. You know, like Midgets. he was really doing, why does he have all these photos of his Blacks. dad's father's this dick? Is... What? Sarah, what? God, I no, I Sarah gets, Bert. she's such a lady. <laughs> she gets lady. so mad I don't ever. Listen. <laughs> my computer just got stolen. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's and right. And it's so in- interesting to that. me because so many people have asked me, do you have any, like, dirty videos? Like, yeah, videos of, of yourself you or naked <gasps> pictures on there? And I'm like, no. What? Not of yourself. Not of, I of myself. Either. Or anything like that on I have there. pornography. You don't watch pornography on your laptop? No. What do you watch it on? There? I don't watch it. Oh, shut up, I don't Sarah. watch it. Have you it. ever filmed yourself having sex? No. Has your boyfriend ever showed you a video that he's filmed of you? <laughs> <laughs> you mean have it secretly videotaped? Oh, I don't know. It's probably 100% on most guys have done that. You know, oh, like, dude, God. I'm dating this girl. I want to jerk off later. I'm just going to keep my ex 
Xbox cam on or something like that. No, Are you serious? that's I just would, you. You that's sick so fuck. crazy. Whatever. Well, so. also though, like when people say like a sex tape, they like Rihanna or whatever has that one that just came out or whatever. Is she? And I'm just, and like when people are like, oh, I didn't know. I'm like. Do you know how hard it is to get a video online? Like, have you ever tried to upload one of your own videos? Like, it, takes it takes like 20 <laughs> hours. It's so much work. I you know. just set up the camera and get, get the right tape. Uh, getting a good tape lighting. You know, Then you have to like trans figure out how to transfer it to your computer, which is so... Then you yeah. have to compress it, edit oh, it, yeah. upload it. I'm exhausted. Like, I'd be too exhausted to have sex. I do. I agree. Like, I just don't understand what people are like, I didn't know. There's no way you didn't know. Yes, There's no know. way. Well, and if you're dating the kinds of dudes that videotape you, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone has me. <laughs> no, they Please. have you. I'm telling you, they Great. have you. There's no. I, I've I done don't it. Think I've that. done it Please once. Don't make I've me done think it that. once. And I was <gasps> 17. You were and 35. No, 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 no. I swear to God, I was 17. Yeah. I still have the video. And wow. it's very creepy to watch yourself having sex when you're 17 uh, because you're like, you don't know how to yeah. have sex. Like, the only training I ever oh, got was from gross. porn. So, like, it's oh, yeah, just me going, yeah, yeah. are you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> like, prison pounding the poor girl. Wow. I hate that. That makes God, me worried. So I wonder if people have been ever uh, Probably. Probably. <gasps> Especially nowadays no, with iPhones and I'm shit sure. like that. Especially nowadays with iPhones, oh, people sure. probably just throw their phone down and do it. Look at, have oh, you seen no. these websites? Submityourflicks.com, all these different fucking websites that's just like boyfriend, girlfriend hitting camera sex. Oh, there's God. like a million of them. I hate that. Well, there's going to, I don't know. I Luckily, I don't have to worry it. about that kind of shit. I have to look. Uh, well, you just look for me, Brian, because I don't know I, where I all will. this stuff is. Well, I will say that. Please tell me. Hopefully, it's like my 20 year old self and not my 35 year old body. Saying, yeah. Like, who gives a shit? If you're hot, like, if it was a boyfriend before I was married, I'd probably look a lot better back then. Luckily, nowadays, if I filmed myself, I'd be so disgusted that I would immediately oh. delete it. And, like, I would oh. want nothing to do with that. Oh. I wouldn't yeah. want that to accidentally get out. I wouldn't want my mom oh, to see dude, that, you know? Tommy Fuck and that. I, Tommy and I, it's nothing but folds and hair. Yeah. And just, like, he's so hairy, and we're both so, like, bleh and sweaty. <laughs> That. I can't even imagine what we look like. I've been opening it. myself up to booty calls lately. Hey. Oh my god. That's so not a Sarah Tiana thing. Like I've always been very particular and sure. like I have to be emotionally connected with you. And like since talking to my therapist <laughs> lately. We both go to the same yeah. building. So I was like, you know, like why can't like I just I just hate that I can't just like do a booty yeah, call. Like too. just start using guys. <laughs> I want to, and I never could. I was never wired to. I feel like I can now as a 35-year-old woman, because yeah. yeah. I'm like, fuck you, little boy. Come here. But I'm obviously, I'm married. It's not going to work. But I yeah. feel like I could now, emotionally. Yeah, I feel like I, don't I just start anymore. role-playing it as in my head as like a different game, you know? Like, like I, you know, like I'm in control. Like, I don't yeah. like him. And, you know, even though, like, sometimes I do, but I just have to, like, detach yeah. I don't know. It's been pretty great, though. Good for you. And if you have, you know, a little, um, like a brownie with some medicine in it, it totally <laughs> helps, too. Like, it makes you so more comfortable well, with your body. I have to say that because you are actually a dude, because you watch football, <laughs> this probably... Do you know that I have to have Sports be. Center off? Because I will watch it. That's instead. so weird. Instead. That's a good. That's a good weakness, though, because you know, like if you're in a relationship with you and the guy's like, "Oh, oh my gosh, you want me ideal. alone?" I would just turn on ESPN and be like, "Oh, wow, look at this," and then I'd be like, "All right, get back to work." Dear. Yeah, <laughs> like, such I... a catch for any guy, like any normal guy outside of Los Angeles, is is like <laughs> seriously. So, but Sarah, I have a would you rather scenario for oh, you. Oh God, you have to. We this have to do great. one specific for Sarah. I'm just picking B. So you decide. Oh, you know what? That's no fun at all. How dare you not analyze this critically and really give it some thought? So, all right, I'm okay. Sorry. Because you're a boy, um, <laughs> would you rather dick. with a huge dick? You have a huge thank one. you. And Stroke impeccable it. balls that are clean and smooth and take shaven. off West Virginia, East Virginia, leave the Appalachians. <laughs> That's what I tell the lady that waxes me. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> So, would you rather... <laughs> Brian's still trying to figure out what it means. Yeah, he's he's wrapping I was thinking of booty calls right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to formulate... Okay, okay. so, Sarah, would yeah. you rather go an entire year without watching football? <laughs> B. Or... <laughs> wait, or oh. have... Wait, dude, we did homeless guys. <laughs> Or have um, a bunch of like Mexican bus boys, like twenty of them, take a shit on your chest, <laughs> and you have to let the shit harden. 
And you all can't. of them have those mustaches, those weak mustaches. Oh, I love the. Oh, yeah, I love those baby son <laughs> mustaches. So gross. And they've had many, many thuckles. Yeah. And Can it's I like come through their blue jeans? Because <laughs> like, like it's some sort of flower sifter. <laughs> yes, B, for sure. I'm you not giving rather, up football. You'd rather have 10 Mexican yeah. bus boys take yeah. a shit That out of your is chest. the most fucked up shit I've <laughs> ever heard in my football. life. Uh, Are you serious? She must like it in general. What if we just found her fetish? Like, I would oh, love it. Shit on. Who likes that? What kind of demon are you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't Do you like it. shit? Of course I don't no. want people to I knock it. Shit. No, no. There's My things chest. that you go. There's things that you go. Don't knock it. I, tell you I can clearly really tell you that a shit fetish is never going to happen. There's. N- I would. You do have else. a shit fetish. Well, I'm, no, no, but fetish Talking meaning about sexualizing. It. No, I'm obsessed with my bowel movements <laughs> and I love poopy talk. Ugh. But I'm not. I'm not fetishizing. Like sexually, it's not. Yeah, it's realm. like it's like when you're uh, laying in bed and you accidentally itch your ass. And you're like, oh wait, now ugh. my finger smells. Do I get out of bed and wash it, or do I just hide it underneath the pillow? <laughs> What the fuck? Why do you have an itchy yeah. asshole? Do you bare uh, finger just it? kidding. Do you bare finger scratch your butt? <laughs> no, you know, when it slips through the hole. It doesn't slip you, through Sometimes the you hole. wear your boxers backwards and you... Guys, yeah, you guys, guys have that little wrong. crotch hole for no reason that they need to give up on. Who? No one uses you, that. I thought you put your wiener through No there. one uses that. That's the dumbest idea ever. Wait, I like that men are so, wait, so lazy they had to invent a slip. <laughs> no! You can't pull your pants if, down. If there's a guy that Fucking uses really. that, I've never... I, I guess I maybe I'm wrong. Can but, I just say though that I'm so sick of women peeing on the toilet seat. It just happened to me before I came oh, here, Trader Joe's. Oh my Joe's. god, just sit yeah. the fuck down. Yeah, sit bitch. down. You have a, first of all, I agree. You have let you have a greater chance of this you know most... catching AIDS or something. I know through the mints at a restaurant than yeah. on a toilet seat. Th- this is the most fucked up thing because I actually went to Honey Baked Ham yesterday and I, I did something I normally baked. don't do, which is take a shit in a public place. Right. I, I try not you. to, right? Yeah. But I'm like Honey Baked Ham. This looks like my mom's kitchen. This is the most romantic yeah. place ever. <laughs> I, I can shit too. here. I love it. <laughs> you know, so, so I decided Smells to good. do it, and I, I was kind of scared, but I walked in, and the kitchen or the, the bathroom was immaculate. And yeah. I look at the Ooh, fucking nice. thing, and I'm like, wow, it doesn't look like this toilet's even been used. Right. And Fresh. I'm thinking, there, you know what? I'm not even going to wipe this. I'm just going to sit down because it looks completely clean. Yeah. And I'm thinking, wait, my toy, last time I cleaned my toy, it was about two months ago. This place is cleaned every night by janitors. This is the cleanest toilet ever. I, right. I should yeah. be more scared to sit in my own toilet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially now with a, it's a studio in my fucking house. Yeah. Can know? I tell you that I prefer to take shits in public yeah. than my own house? Why Why not fuck up somebody else's toilet? Oh, fuck yeah. Why use their toilet paper? I use as much toilet paper as I, I want. Shit, I shit as I if please. You, if you're really particular, like I'm yeah. I'm not a particular person. Like obviously I go, you will shit go to Durka Durka stand. <laughs> but I always sit down like a gentleman. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you chuck your bean bite. You are you But are if you really are particular, man. just have baby wipes in your purse and wipe down the seat but like i shouldn't have to get my hand wet from the 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 toilet paper Uh, when i wipe because you peed so much on the seat fucking pig some pig Pig crouching tiger a pig beast of a woman did it to me at trader joe's right before i came here this foul (laughs) fucking demon seat pig and she was a hulking beast she was a huge (laughs) broad yeah big (laughs) eight feet tall motherfucker and i and i gave her a death stare too anyways i'm so upset about it i can't Death stare, isn't that what they wrote on in Star uh, Wars? Uh, <laughs> the death stare. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. So now, Sarah mm-hmm. confided in us before the podcast that uh, she's had a little uh, love. You had a little love problem. <laughs> am, uh, am I right to say that um, you got a, a disturbing phone call about an ex? Oh, yeah. Hold on, I have to take it a wasn't squirt. Distur- but I'm going to take a squirt. Well, you tell the story, and I'll be right back. Not a squirt like that, you douche. i got to make pee out of my pee hole. I'll be right back. But tell oh, we Ryan don't pause. the story. No, oh, okay, I'll pause tell Ryan the story. Yeah. i got to piss really bad. Okay, um, so it's really not disturbing. Well, I thought it was me, kind it of is, nice. I think to everybody it's universally when this happens to you. But. Yeah, it just For happened me, to me is. too. Oh, actually. it did? Oh, okay, yeah. so well, it was like, I guess last Monday, my ex-boyfriend, we were together for... Five and a half years, mm-hmm. and we've been apart for three and a half, I guess. And uh, he called me to tell me he's getting married. And he called me and like set it up, like, listen, I just have to talk to you about something. And we talk a lot, you know, right. probably twice a month anyway. Right. So it's not like we're not really, really close friends. Mm-hmm. And so he kind of set it up like, 
you know, I just have to talk to you about something and I want you to hear it from me before anybody else, at the, especially at the comedy store. Like, I just think it's important for me to tell you this. And and I'm like, oh, my, what is he about to tell me? You know right. what I mean? That, like, he got some, you know, hooker pregnant at the store. I had no idea. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I've been seeing this girl for a while now and we're going to get married. And I was just like... Oh my! Like that was like the nicest thing he's ever done for wow. me was telling me before anybody else. Yeah, that's really cool. And it was like I was sad and happy at the same time because you're sad because that chapter's closing, but then like you're kind of happy for him, and then just to move on to just know like okay, great, I cannot go back to that. But in your head, are you thinking, damn, he won? He won the contest no, to get I mean, married first. No, I mean, in my head, I'm like, God, I hope they're miserable. <laughs> right. You know? yeah, see, I hope they kill each other. I did it no, a girl. Secretly. I did it a girl uh, for, I think, like five years in Ohio. And then we moved to California here together. And mm-hmm. uh, we quit our jobs. We had an awesome house in Ohio. And it just sucked. But I was like, fuck, we can't turn this down. We don't want to. We both hated Ohio. When you live in Ohio, you yeah. just want to escape. <laughs> uh, so. Of course. So. Through the two O's. We fuck moved Ohio. out. We. Uh, we used uh, my boss's Joe Rogan's advice. He's like, I was like, where should I move it? You know, in LA. And he's like, dude, you want to go to Calabasas? And I'm like, really? Okay. Calabasas. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like the latest. Does not sound like something Joe <laughs> Rogan would ever say. Yeah, because he has a family, not for you know. No, no. He could. I think he was thinking because it's safe and it's probably it the closest safe. to it like is. being in Ohio. You know, oh, it's, it's sure, a good. Sure, I think sure. it's good when you move to LA to actually start on the outside and mm-hmm. figure it in and slowly yeah. make baby steps instead of just dropping in on Sunset Boulevard or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But. uh so I so I went there and we my girlfriend couldn't find a job and she found one in Santa Monica so she had to drive to work every day for an Ugh. hour it, it just pretty much killed our relationship we she was miserable I was miserable and then we uh, she's like you know gave me that thing where she's like you ha- you have to either marry me or, or I'm breaking <gasps> oh, up what yeah and this was after seven years of dating her so oh. so I was like yeah I guess so uh, I was going to wait till we both had our feet on the ground a little you know and make it you know so we could actually have a sweet wedding and have it actually be cool. Uh, so, so she's like, "No, you have to marry me." So it's like, "All right." So I spent like I don't know how many weeks every night just researching rings, find out what princess cuts were, how uh, like, like all that fucking quality. Nightmare. I didn't know there was so much fucking shit with rings, right? Yeah. Picked out a ring, and then it was like I, I we we got engaged or whatever. And that's a whole different story. But uh, she, we broke up, and now we used to talk, you know, maybe once a month, twice a month, and everything mm-hmm. like that. She got engaged, and I found out on Facebook. <gasps> and then, and then now, like, like I was like, "Oh, congratulations!" You know, and whatever. And she never like wrote anything back. And I, we kind of only did like texts and stuff like that, not really calls too mm-hmm. much. And then uh, uh, now she won't even reply <gasps> anything. Like, oh. like I said something the other day. I was like, "Hey, you want to babysit my dog for the weekend?" You know, because she w- at one time was saying how she wanted a dog, and I was like, "Hey, do you want to you know have a dog yeah. for a weekend?" Nothing. <gasps> yeah, but that's she's, she's married. You know, you gotta let. Yeah, but you know, the, the, it's the, inappropriate for her to her, babysit your dog. Her mom, her mom, right. and my mom. We when we got engaged, became best friends, and now they own a flower company together. No. In Ohio. So oh, now it's like they are friends. So my weird. mom's probably going to their wedding. I'm probably <sighs> like, and I have, I will never talk to this girl again now. It's so weird. It is weird when you spend years with somebody, and then one day you're like, all right, I'm moving out. And then you take your CDs out of their CD collection, which is what I did the last time I broke up with somebody. <laughs> you take your books. Right. And, you know, in the spoons and whatever plates you like. And you're then, like, I'm taking my ween and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I will be taking my Sisters of Mercy CD and my, uh, yeah, it, it's so sad. It is sad. Well, you know what, Sarah T., I think you are a but Tommy and I talk about this that you are an exemplary woman <laughs> slash man and anybody would be anybody with a, their head not in their ass would love uh, to have you as a wife well be thank great. you you know I've, I've realized like lately like especially going out on dates I think the hardest thing for me is that I do lead like this really fun exciting life and I glamorous. have glamorous it is kind it of is. glamorous no, is at times. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm i just not impressed by anyone. Yeah. You know, a lot oh, know. of times, like, they're sitting there, like, enamored with my stories. I mean, Iraq, Afghanistan. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> like, so how do you trump that? Ginous. And I totally get it. You know what I mean? Like, Chick-fil-A. I, I know. Like, I've, you know, <laughs> jumped so out of modest. planes. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, All I've right. driven. All so right. it's like, you, you know... I know, I know what you're saying. Normal people can be a little... Right. So oh, my God. Wait a minute. Happens. Is that a dental update that yes. just flew in? Yes. Red band. It just flew in. <laughs> Do you have a dental update for us? 
I don't, but does Sarah. Does Sarah? Sarah, do you have a dental update? Um, How are your teeth? Are you flossing? Do you have cavities? Yeah, I just had a crown put in. Oh, and I got knighted. I got knighted. Uh, knighted in, in, the, in the back of my mouth. Congratulations. How many, and how many dollars did that cost you? Uh, because I had to have a root canal as mm, well. And course. it's funny because the dentist said something like, you have the teeth of a 70-year-old man. <laughs> and rad. I was like, is that a good thing? Of you course. Know? It sounds Am like I long in the thing. tooth, you know? Long in the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so no, like, I don't know. They just had to do It cost about... Thirteen hundred. Ah, oh. but I'm that was over. That was over four too. different. Um, four different. Uh, visit four or five oh. actually. So I just paid a couple hundred every time. They cash. should just give you teeth for free. And that, yeah, I'm telling you, when you pay God cash for it. stuff, especially at the doctor, this is what I've learned. Like yeah. I'll go to a doctor and I'll be like, "How much is a visit?" And you know, and they'll just be like, "Oh, you know, it's like a hundred bucks." I'm like, "Well, I'm gonna pay cash." That's and I give you move, like forty, man. and they'll be like, "Okay, yeah." You know what I think it is? I swear I think, to God, I think all these secretaries and receptionists are just making some extra cash on totally. the side. Totally. I think, but that's it's yeah. also it's more incentive for them to not have to go through paperwork. It's just you to me, right. me to you. Right. It's like service to service. I think I think every doctor in the city, if you pay cash, <laughs> they're like, sure. Because wow. they, they'll give it's you easier. at least 50% off. At least. That's the only crazy. Th- I've never And then they give that. you sa- samples of everything so you don't even have to buy the prescriptions because they have tons of samples. Right. But then, like, I've noticed when I go to buy my... Because I have restless leg syndrome, so, like, I have to buy this <laughs> you medicine. Have that? She yeah. does. And I will go and buy the medicine, and it's normally, like, $120. But if I use my AAA discount... It comes down to fifty one dollars. Wow. Can you believe? I'm just saying, wow, like, a tri- I have you don't even need it. Like, I, I feel like even though like this cedar sign I visit is probably gonna cost me like ten grand, easy. maybe. Right. I mean, you should have looked at the minute clinic. But the original bill, <laughs> the original would have bill, killed her for sure. <laughs> the original bill was forty four thousand. Oh! So now it's down to ten thousand. Wow. Now it's for two days, but. It's fine, you know, but I feel like I haven't had health insurance in like five and a half years. So it yeah. kind of all but is the same. Can I, can I tell you that in this country, we are the wealthiest yeah. fucking nation. And and for someone to get sick and have to pay $44,000 yeah. to save a life is fucking, it's criminal. And the system yeah. is totally fucked. And anyways... I, I, but it's it also no wanted... incentive for people to treat you well because they like doctors don't even get reimbursed from the, it's all right. these health insurance companies and like that's why I haven't I, the, honestly it's hard for me to go and say like I wish I would have had health insurance because fuck them I don't want to give them my money I'd rather give my money directly to the hospital you know I, what I mean I kind of agree on because that because like one, yeah. they they treated me so well and and I can make I can pay them ten dollars a month for the rest of my life, and they will be completely happy sure. with that. That's how I feel about the credit card companies. Yeah, <laughs> and and that's exactly. That's also why I, yeah. I stopped being on birth control. Yeah, because I cannot believe in this country that we charge women so much money oh, don't to get not get pregnant. Why don't you just go to Planned Parenthood? Because yeah, I do. They give but you then, a free oh. Plan B. They give you like oh, I know sucks. super cheap. Yeah, but I know, it takes but six I hours. I feel like it also it does take six hours, but also like I don't want to rip them off because I feel like they're doing such a great yeah. service they with young help. girls girls right. out yeah we can afford it and i it. feel like i can afford it i, I just too. don't want to i just like to my core don't feel like it's right so i just quit i'm not on birth control you're trying anymore. to make a baby right no now. yes you are i'm not oh, if I, oh, shit. Shit. that's exactly what it is she's, she's having she's having baby. excuses she just wants to get a little i do i, I guess i also ball. i think a part of it is probably like i don't want to feel like i can't right can't steal what? an NBA player's sperm. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to feel like I can't. <laughs> um, so, listen. Um, I wanted to do a thing where... This is no segue. Oh, no. What's going on? Those are raspberries in my bag. No, just ignore that. I just oh, I bought thought, raspberries. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something with raspberries. No. So, I, um, someone tweeted me a really good idea. They're like, you guys should do an episode on, like... 80 songs or something and I was like not 80 songs let's do something where we talk about our guilty pleasure songs um I have horrible taste in music I am the first to admit that I I love goth music I fucking (laughs) will listen to you know Bauhaus Joy Division I love I love um punk early punk 
I mean, no, it's not terrible. I love, like, I love, Dead like, Boys and fucking... I like Sonic Youth and New York yeah. Dolls. And the Pixies are my favorite band. I was going to say, it has to be the Pixies. Oh, for sure. I fucking... I had a, a bag made custom of the Pixies. Oh, my God. By uh, Molly Schmidt. And you think I'm weird. I'm fucking fanatic. <laughs> but I have guilty pleasures, and I wanted to maybe have every, all of us share our guilty oh. pleasures. And mine is... I'm going to start off. It's, um... <laughs> <laughs> and I rock out in my car to this alone. It's the New Jersey Shore remix. What? And it is the gayest, and I love it so much. Go ahead, Red Man. Uh, it is so fucking gay, and I'm I'm like embarrassed to share this, but I'm. It, it's so. Gay. I love it. Wait, get ready. It's building. Y'all ready for this? It's building. Okay, get ready. You have to. <laughs> La, 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 la. Oh, turn it up, Ryan. Oh, this is the best, right? I love it. I love the build up. The Jersey Shore, bitch. I love it. The fucking situation. I fist bump. I rock out to my fucking. This is a good song, though. It's I can good, tell right? This is. this is like me in a velour fucking jumpsuit in my hybrid. Gold chain. <laughs> what are you saying? It's the best. Pigeons. Isn't it? But it's not that awful. Right? Cannoli. Cannoli. <laughs> oh my god, when I was in um, New York, they, the San Gennaro Festival was going on in Little yeah. Italy. It was so, and they had so much sausage, you would have loved I it because love you love your sausages. Meats. Have you have you seen that new place, Curry Bratwurst or Brat? Ah, Verst Kuchen? <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on. I'm fucking, what are you, There's new? There's like two of them now. There's one in Silver Lake. Shut up. Right by uh-huh. Undefeated. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not kidding. I just walked past it, but it's right by that restaurant I went to for it. Dude, Verst Kuchen? It's the best. I like processed meats of any kind. But German and foreign Polish meats. Oh. Oh. They had so much Jersey Shore stuff at that oh. San Gennaro Festival in Italy. I was like, I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> I love it. All right, are we, do you have one that you want to share, or should I... Do I? It. Well, I mean, I like country music, so like Ugh. any kind. Exactly. That's like, all bad. But that's no. how I feel when you say <laughs> I have a bag made for the Pixies, and I'm like, <laughs> I just love how like I love yeah. how how my, like my all these cool, alternative bands. Not. Like, how yeah. do you get your name? I think it's like you know how you yeah. get your porn name and your stripper name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From like your animal in the first street you grew up on. I yeah. feel like there is like it's like your name comes from like. The first restaurant you ever went to, and the first person that raped you. Who like, oh, oh, oh. How, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, Brad you? Carls Jr. That's the name of our band. That is so. <laughs> oh, this is my second oh, nice. guilty pleasure. Stupid. I love it. it. Right? Do you know what song? It's so motivational. It's inspirational. I listen. Do you remember that band Aqua? Aqua, yeah. Oh, I'm a Barbie, Barbie girl. girl. That's the word. Ha- I had their whole album. Uh, their other songs did? were just as good. <laughs> <laughs> Come not, on, not. Barbie. Let's go party. Ow, 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 yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh, Ken. <laughs> you know that Wait, part of the song? Can I tell you the girl I hate in this Chumbawamba video is the one that goes, Oh, Danny Boy. Like, she sings oh, it like she oh, needs Danny it. Boy. Yeah, that ruins it for me. Yeah, her. Is that Rachel Maddow? <laughs> oh, look at her snubbiness. I get knocked down. Holy oh, shit. No, Wait, I, I thought, I oh my god, out. I haven't seen this video in a while, but I always thought that girl was the lead singer in drag. I thought that was the point of the video. Like, he was what? dressed up in drag in the video. So no. that's actually a real girl. Yeah. Oh. They're Australian, so they don't look like Americans. Yeah, but look at her. This is so look. stupid. This this song. See, I thought that was the idea that it was him and Oh, drag. yeah, I think it is them. Oh, that is them. Yeah, sorry. That is them. Yeah. Wow, he's a really pretty takes girl. A drink. <laughs> it takes a side of drink. It takes your mommy's drink. It takes your mother's drink. <laughs> I'm listening stuff in my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> That's how cool we are. We just yeah. lit shit. I remember when that song came out, though, in the 90s. It was like, it was an anthem. I mean... Did you just push them <laughs> your face like a dog? <laughs> um, that was so, a, that was a jam. I'm trying to think of like what I think you're the best country yeah. song for you to. Yeah, what do you, really what's the embrace. stupidest country song that you like that you secretly 
Like, I secretly listen to fucking Chumbawamba and the Jersey 4 <laughs> remix in my car. <laughs> I'll, I have it in my iPod. Yeah. And I love that Jersey Shore remix. Like, I'll, last night I fucking came back from the comedy store, like, bam, 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 right. bam fist pumped it. So... It's got to be embarrassing. I, I don't even think be... that there are embarrassing country songs. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. What is your song that you karaoke to? Yeah, what's your jam? Probably a Dolly Parton. I love Dolly. See, exactly. Like that's Dolly's like cool. not even a big deal. Jolene, Jolene, <laughs> Jolene. I wouldn't say. You know that Dolly's a big I like, rug muncher, right? I love. Wait, wait, before we go this, Dolly's not, a rug muncher. First of all, do not say that. She's a big old dyke. No, yeah. she's not. Her, her husband's a beard. That's what That's what the rumor in Hollywood is, that Dolly Parton has her best friend, her BFF that she tours with, mm-hmm. and that they're, they're country scissoring or whatever <laughs> that they... They're rubbing biscuits and gravy, <laughs> as they say. Well, I think she wears all them disguises. <laughs> like, those are wigs. <laughs> um, Sorry, so continue. So what, what would be your jam? I mean... I like her Christmas album. Oh my god, that is great. Hard bad. Candy Christmas is probably like <laughs> the best song. And it's like a hard candy Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas music and I listen to it all year long. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, Kill me. Sing it. It's I want so you to sing. fun. It's a hard candy Christmas. I'm barely getting through tomorrow. Uh, but still I won't. Trouble bring me way down. Oh, that's fine and dandy, actually. I'll be fine and dandy. Oh Lord, it's like God. a Do you ever see that documentary? Candy Christmas. <laughs> that is terrible. You ever see that uh, that documentary about uh, fans that are obsessed with Dolly Parton? Yeah. That no. is the creepiest. Gay it's on Netflix streaming. You gotta watch it. I so. will. It's a, it's a new series called, like, Obsessed or something. Yeah. Anna. <laughs> this is my guilty oh, yes, I just downloaded first of all can I say something uh, I just um, he's great though come on I see you're out of aces <laughs> <laughs> this is not no you I'm had a gambler look at his mullet <laughs> look at his mullet <laughs> I, no, I, this is a good song, Brian. Yeah. Well, Learn. yeah, but can I just say I'm this? I'm a huge Kenny Rogers fan. If you fan find from, Coal so Miner's cheesy. daughter, Loretta Lynn does yes, like Loretta the most Lynn's amazing great, thing though. I've ever heard in a song. She rhymes hard <laughs> and tired. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> she goes every, every day we'd work hard and at night we'd sleep because we're tired. <laughs> tired. <laughs> Thing I've ever seen in a country song. You're like, how did you rhyme hard well, and I, tired? I believe it's called Every a day rhyme. We work hard <laughs> and at night we'd sleep because we're tired. <laughs> That is a slant <laughs> run. And I believe the black eyes. I can piece. make a Yankee hat more famous than a Yankee cane. I love it! <laughs> that's that's Jay-Z. A that is such a funny Jay-Z. rhyme. Yeah. But, like, I mean, but I mean, Loretta Lynn and Jay-Z are exactly the same. I'm telling you, country is gangster. Get the suit up to get you with a fine tooth comb. That's a jam. Yeah. That's my karaoke song. There was something going on. My favorite ooh, things are too ooh. when I'm doing karaoke because I, I like you I only do it when I'm black out. Is <laughs> Creep, Radiohead, yeah. Kenny Rogers, Creep's or you, if I'm really that. fucking blacked out, I'll do uh, uh, the guys Creed? that go no. Mm, once <laughs> oh, I hate there was that song. Because then I, I can like slur. Don't sing it. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> hilarious. That's the worst one. I just sing all Creed all the time. Oh, god. <laughs> can you take me? Oh, that song makes me want to gag. Do you guys have any creed? Because you guys have any sisters of mercy. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, this is my other guilty pleasure. I was hardcore goth for many years. This is so goth. I, you should. We should just dim the lights. Oh my god, it's like a funeral dirge. I love it. Yeah, this. I would rock out in the dark with some candles. Oh, I used to shadow dance the fuck to this, man. In a dark room, Helter Skelter, 1993. Wow. Me and Shauna Finn. Ow, boom. Shadow dancing, You're black lying. velvet, mm. white faces. Yep. Black lipstick. Makes you want to eat mm. out Alanis Morissette. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know. It's ironic. That mother joke. <laughs> I'd probably say that not Alanis, but Cheryl Crow is a guilty pleasure of mine too, because that's pretty lame. Cheryl Crow, yeah, yeah, I like. She's weak Cheryl sauce. Yeah. 
She's weaker sauce than the Sisters of Mercy. And the Sisters of Mercy are German, which makes are them really? even lamer. Cause hey! They, well, because they're totally like, oh, you're not even German. Are yeah, you yeah. relatives? German. Reich- I, my last name's Reichel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a pretty crowd task. Reichel! Ach, ja! Das ist gut! Ja! Der Lieberschmiegel! Der Volkswagen! Der Volkswagen! Der Volkswagen! Oh, I don't know if I have any. I mean, yeah, well, I yeah. like the Aqua, the Barbie that's girl. Terrible. Yeah, that one's really boring. Uh, Lady Gaga for sure. Oh, that's I a good one. You know, like my that. little godson, uh, the, my nine year old Gon said, yeah. he loves Kesha. <laughs> I like her too. Actually, that's one of my TikTok. Don't stop, stop, motherfucker. Turn it up. Take Take my my ass. Don't you like? (laughs) Yeah, I love that song. That's a good one. That's my favorite. Kesha. Push your dirty face. Take your take my bone. Yeah, 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 I like that. that Good. I love that. I liked her until I I listened to the rest of her songs. I I think she had like two songs, and the rest were off. Meow, 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 (laughs) meow. Wait, you know? can I tell you that I went to a gay bar the other day at MJ's, you know, in our neighborhood, and they yeah, had I like they had a mashup of songs, but it was also a mashup video of like Rihanna and yeah. Britney and Lady Gaga, oh, like the, their songs were mashed lot. up, and oh, it was wow. so awesome. But then their videos were mashed up too, it was rocking. That's cool. Not gonna die to the scene of my pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I, love that. Yeah, I know the words. Yeah, you know the words. I, I like white girls that are real trashy, like Cray Sean. <laughs> I love Cray Sean. Cray Sean. Cray Sean. That reminds me of that video. Have I you ever it. seen Gucci, uh, Gucci, Louis, Louis. Uh, Gucci, Gucci? That's it. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Them basic Shut bitches wear that shit, so I don't even bother. Oh, I love no, it. No, no way. That's I love her. I could listen to her day and night. She has two songs. I listen Have you ever to seen that YouTube video, Crazy Black Girl on a Train? No. What's that? Let's find it. But it's just, it's not a song, but she's, she's basically rapping. singing Soldier Boy, but she's saying <laughs> Soldier <Sal> Gal. <laughs> she's so ghetto. <laughs> it's on a MARTA train in what, Atlanta. Can we find and it? she's yelling at this old, it, old lady who's sitting down and apparently like that lady <laughs> took her seat. <laughs> this old ass black lady who's sitting down, it. rightfully so, on a train. Can I tell you? And that? she's like, oh, no, yeah. they, they put, they put oh, here subtitles up. Here she is. Here she is. You <laughs> can't even understand what she's saying. This world. She's high. She's so. Is she high? Black people. There's one where they put subtitles up of what like she's really that. saying. Black people are natural rhymers. That is something they. Old. <laughs> That's so wrong. So poetic. Can I tell you that I used to fight with black chicks? In public school, and this is how black girls will win in a fight: is that they are so good at talking shit and and, and the intimidation. They break you down mentally. Yes, and it's not just the physicality because black girls physically will fuck you up, mm-hmm. but it is also the mental, emotional torture they are so gifted at. Like this boy, she's doing right now to this old lady. Ow. I mean, yeah. Ow! Now! <laughs> ow! Now! Ow! Yo! Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Beetlejuice. Hey, yeah, they fucking. I got a bunch of grown niggas in my Yeah, she's crazy. Hey, These yeah. chicks are gifted. It's over. This means war. But she can move. I mean, she can't. Straight in the U.S. Hey, Jesus, baby, I got this beer right here. A.T. A.T. in the L, baby. <laughs> But that's how I know, like, <laughs> at a comedy show, like, if you can get black women to like yes. you, you're set. You're, you're because fucking no funny. one has more fear, and everyone is afraid of black women. Yep, so am I. So, I am. Who, yes. I've never been afraid of a black woman. Well, that's because you never got your uh-uh. ass beat by th- one. I have. You never had a black woman be like, uh uh-uh. uh. No. <laughs> that's all they have to do, be like, uh uh-uh, uh. And you're like, oh, fuck. I have a defense, me- I have a defense <laughs> mechanism. Really? I would uh, rather have meningitis every day <laughs> than get yelled at by a black no. woman. Oh, oh. oh no. Uh-uh. Oh, hand no. Some, yeah. Yeah, I've had guys yeah, tell me that I'm like a black girl to date because I have so many really? rules. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like not touching your weave and stuff. <laughs> you got to have silk pillowcases. You can pull my hair. Ass. No, no. You know how I have deal breakers? I think they're yeah. logical deal breakers, yeah. though. Like, I you should not have a roommate in your 30s. Come on. No, shit. That's for <laughs> right? real. No. That's ghetto. It's so ghetto. It's, 
Wait. Do you have a roommate? No. Oh, no. I haven't had a roommate. Okay, no. I haven't been a roommate in like ten years. Yeah, because you're years. an adult. <laughs> right. Wait, have you ever heard of that guy that he calls himself I am motherfucker? Or he wears a t shirt. It's in, it happened in Oakland. There was a white guy that gets on a bus and there's this black yeah. kid and he gets into a fight with this black kid that gets into his fucking face and he protects himself and he punches this black kid out and it's the best thing ever. Cause like you know, he shouldn't have been fucked with. He's an older guy. Yeah. And uh, and anyway, he's wearing a shirt. I've been says, to war, am, bitch. Yeah, yeah. He's like a, he, his name is like Vietnam Tom or something. <laughs> and literally, that's what they call him in San Francisco. And it's a great, it's a lovely I went to Levine's yesterday. Get some pants for me and my niggas. Oh, my God. Oh, that was that? I ain't heard no money. It's all right, Brian. We don't need to play Met this. Have you heard this? No. Tunnel so funny. Skirts. I was like, what that smell like? She's like. I'm scared. She didn't know what to say. I'm like, bitch, don't make me. He's about to do an impression of her. What? This is so funny. Anyway, got her number. The next day we went to chicken filet. Some ice in the ball. Chicken. When I got there, I'm like, bitch, where are all these people out here? She said, well, it's the mall. I'm like, whatever, bitch. This isn't funny, Brian. This is scary. Okay. All right. That's enough of you. He's just joking. Yeah, I can't believe you haven't seen that video. That the fact that he's in the really woods, funny. like the Blair Witch Project, it's, is like the creepy part. He goes on this whole thing about what mm. Chick Fil A. I think he's a comic. I'm Michael Vick. I kill dogs. I don't think he's a very good comic. I think that was more <laughs> scary. Well, wow, he you're is a hating, really you're good actor. A video. He's a really good well, actor. Well, because he's, uh, I think sometimes it's too intense and people go overboard and then it loses its funny when it's like mm. they're trying too hard. <laughs> Can I sing, Brian? That has 13 I, million hits, by the way. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> Shut up! Yeah. And he, he even has a second one that has more. Brian, where did you find this log cabin for your mom's house? I love it. Oh, Remember it's, when we, it's just online. <laughs> Remember when it's we so went and funny. ate at Uncle Tom's Cabin in Afghanistan? <laughs> we ate at a restaurant called Uncle Tom's Cabin, and we had Russian shish kebabs. And we're sitting out on this beautiful porch, you know, like, it was really good food, oh, yeah. actually. And it was gorgeous. And we're Kyrgyzstan. sitting out on the walk. Oh, I'm Kyrgyzstan. sorry, in Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then across the lake, <laughs> the best. this Chinese lady and her son decided to take a bath, like, Naked. full on. It was dinner and a movie, like. Like they're just so they got every they got every nook and they're really clean because <laughs> they they scrubbed a lot. They were bathing in a lake, and the best part is is that we had these escorts whose job it was to take us. Now there's like square fucking military people who are really nice, but really not. Like kind of square, and I can remember like we were all laughing. We were like, "Look, this fucking naked." Have you ever crossed the street when you weren't supposed to? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like jaywalk. <laughs> I did one time. Yeah, I thought a cop saw me, but it was just an ice cream delivery truck. So yeah, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not uh, your all life them. is crazy. Yeah, just one of them was super square pants, <laughs> and we were all laughing. And he was like, "That's not funny, you guys. Stop looking." Yeah, and I was like, "Stop looking. They're putting it out there." <laughs> yeah, Bob, Bob, square pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Kyrgyzstan's the first place that I ever made a number one uh, into a hole. In the <laughs> really? That's your first time being in a hole? Was it a little shy? It was. Did you like sit it. down? Because <laughs> I, I squatted. You're that's not the only to time sit, you're right? supposed to squat. Okay. That's okay. what I'm saying with girls being on toilets. Yes. Like that's the only time you're supposed to squat is when there is a hole in the ground that you're hovering above. Oh, I hate. that But it man. was really. I liked it. I thought it was pretty relaxing. Did you shit that way ever? No. I no, no, I just peed one. there. See, I think I would prefer that. I think I because shit like that, just the shit like that. Shit, not when hole, you have diarrhea. Not have to see it, not to flush, not to wash. I just have a big grassy hole. There was a flush so. though, wasn't there? No, no, sorry. I should, I should be clear. Uh, there, it's not just a hole. What it is, it's like a. There's it's two like foot a basin, rest. yeah, and a f- two foot rest, <laughs> and they're made out of like porcelain, and then mm-hmm. you. You like perch yourself on it and squat. But it's also they have like little bubbles so you don't slip. So you right. put your feet there. Traction. Traction. But then how do you hold? Because there's no there's, handlebars. Oh, there was hand. I thought that there were handles on the side. It's funny if there was down. a rope right in the middle. <laughs> and you're just like swinging around. I'd prefer that. <laughs> was it trapeze? So you can practice and pee. <laughs> I just watched a movie about India. A movie called Outsourced. It was stupid. I watched mm. it on Netflix. And like apparently they don't even use uh, toilet paper. Oh yeah. Did you know they that? They don't use that in Afghanistan either. Remember I people know. are telling us not like it's a like they don't shake hands. I know. But like it means a lot if they do. Well, cuz I, I think the left, I'm sorry, the left you use to shit to wipe your ass with and the, and right, the right you use to eat. 
<laughs> I know. So you're not supposed to touch their it's the dark ages over there, man. I can't like, tell you. Like literally, they were celebrating the year 1390 when we were there. <laughs> that's I'm not kidding. Yeah, like that's the year they're literally. in. Literally, that's how far behind they. Are. That's so they funny. really suck. I mean, Afghanistan is probably the worst place I've ever been it to. It is ranked the worst country in the world, though. Is it? It is one of the is worst it? countries in the world, yeah. One of the worst? Or, I don't know. Africa. Some parts of Africa are pretty fucking steep. I don't know. Africa's got water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did they have a sandals there? And they have more flies. A sandals resort. It was resort. only sandals sand. there. Oh, no. And it was just sun and sand. You know what I mean? Just sun just and sand. <laughs> and rocks. And just fucking no mail. Uh, it was I, great. It was I a really it? great place to escape. Just get away from all the technology. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that Have a camel well, massage. Was, mm-hmm. Pesky, mm-hmm. pesky clean water to drink. The nicest thing you can do for your wife over there is build up yeah. a wall around your house so that she doesn't have to wear a burqa all day. <laughs> that, I swear, Literally. so she can garden and do all her chores without a burqa wow, on. Literally. That's the nicest thing you can do for That's your wife. Yeah. Great. Yeah. That's Plus, they awesome. beat them. You know, all the time. Can I tell you the best part is that I got to fly with a colonel in a helicopter, and we were landing at like Lashkarga, I think Lashkarga, it was yeah. Lashkarga, yeah. And um, and he's like, and I, and we were landing, and these little Afghani kids were waiting for us to land by the heliport or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my god, they're so cute, they're just so mm. cute. And he's like. Well, they're not so cute when they flip us off. Yeah. And they fucking do. They give you the finger when they see an American plane landing. And I'm like, you fucking pricks. Yeah, but at least it's their you? finger that they don't wipe their ass with. <laughs> <laughs> you think those Viet Cong children were like that, too, when we were helping them in their country? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're helping. But all I know is God. we have faux noodle soup, which is delicious. And we don't have anything from hours. Afghanistan. God, I love faux, faux city. I love it. It's oh, yeah. Best. I could eat it all day. In Afghanistan, there there won't be anything great from this war. We won't see the cuisine or the <laughs> the attractive people of you know what I'm saying. Like I don't yeah. know what the fuck they're gonna give us out of this war. Opium. Well, remember heroin. they just found the largest lithium deposit in the world is in oh, Afghanistan. Isn't Finally, it, great. It, yeah, so we'll have factory. batteries for our dildos <laughs> that we will get beaten for using. Thank God, a laptop. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wait, well, they freak out when you, they put shoes on. Like, they put shoes on the kids, like some of the soldiers. Like, they, you know, got money for these kids, and they put shoes on the kids, and they freak out. They just start crying. Yeah. Like, they have no wow. idea. Like, it's literally, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's dark ages. There's no mail. There's no roads, you know? No, there's one That's why road. I got meningitis is because they have to burn feces there. Wow. So it's just in the air. Yeah. Literally, just we, airborne pathogens everywhere. We were at a base where they were churning the poo. There's <laughs> churning. A poo pond. Stop acting like it was some witch's root. It was <laughs> just like it was a pond. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was in Kandahar, and there's a pond, and a pan, all of pond the of shit. sewage yeah. gets pumped Evening. into a pond, it's and you just sewers. smell it, pumping it. Oh, and uh, Pump it. and it wafts through the air, mm. and I don't blame. I don't. I don't question. Just why you appetizing, that. you know. Like it just made me like, ah, let's go to TGI. Fridays. <laughs> there is a TGI Fridays I in Kandahar. That's where all the brown meat in the United States goes to die. Is over there. They Wait. have KFC, TGI Fridays, yeah. Nathan's hot, Nathan. hot dog. <laughs> they're always out of everything. And the worst place on earth is Afghanistan. Uh huh. Second worst. Hey. What's the second worst? <laughs> Oh my God, she's so violent. No, I was just thinking something. I just had a thought. That's why. You know that they just repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell officially two officially. days ago. Mm-hmm. And so that's going to fucking wreak what? havoc on the military because they're so homophobic. Well, you no. know they were kicking people out based on Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I don't think it's as homophobic anymore because I think this new crop of young soldiers, like they've grown up with kids that have been openly gay. So thank God. L- I I did notice when I was over, like even like the crazy Marine guy, yeah, that we know, you know, like a lot yeah. of them, like they were talking about it, you know, because there there's ten, twelve people on a patrol base, yeah, and they have to live in close quarters, and they're like. Oh, it doesn't bother me. If he's got my back in a fight, right. then he's got my back in a fight. For sure, he man. can have my ass in the bed. You know I what want I mean? you to drop. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to drop and give me ten or a thousand push-ins. I think it's great that they can, you know, be in the military. Well, they, and, they already and are. They just can't work at Chick-fil-A. They, that's, <laughs> the, that's the line we drop. That's right. But they already are in the military. You know, and, and I guess the fear is that they're going to break out into butt-fucking instead of picking up <laughs> rifles and shooting the Taliban. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. No, it's it like, hasn't happened yet. I, 
honestly, like, I cannot believe also that the amount of people that ask me how many soldiers I hooked up with them when I'm oh, over there. Please. As if I so can't just bad. go and volunteer my time. I also have to blow an officer for it <laughs> yeah. to count. You know? How many, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Not really. how One many? time I'd like to be like they 37. Um, but it's no, but it's law. also, I outrank them, so I'm not going to have sex with you because you could get, you know, it, you know, they get court martialed for doing it, right? Yeah, you can be dishonorably discharged from the army. So but you're also, saying Top Gun was completely fake? Oh, that's yeah. He would have been. Yeah, <laughs> they would have been in trouble for. He would have been in a lot, but it's my favorite movie, so I don't care. The Danger <laughs> Zone was being court martialed. She, she has a Top Gun cap. Tattoo. I do. <laughs> oh my, every time I watch it, yeah. every time it's on TV, I watch it. Do you yeah, guys have Dirty best. Dancing then? No. Uh, Guilty Am Pleasure I, I soundtrack. I hate Dirty Dancing. No. I never liked that movie. I never got it. Like, she likes Patrick Swayze, and she fucks him to show her daddy that she's a grown-up. Like, I, I, it never... You didn't like that movie? What's no. Wrong with you? You're this, a girl. This, You're crazy. I liked Ghostbusters. I liked Vacation. I liked European Vacation. But that movie just did not... License to Drive? Hey. <laughs> love that one. The Corys. Oh, I love the Corys. One of them is dead. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I know. I know. How soon do we... An indelible mark on society. How soon do we oh, forget? Anyways, what time is it? Oh, we've done a lot. I think it's time to... Wrap. Sarah, where will you be in the next week or so, or this week, so people can come oh, see you? Okay. Next week, I'll actually be in San Antonio at mm. Laugh Out Loud with Bobby Lee, so that'll be a fun show. Oh, wow, that's Lee. awesome. And then um, next Wednesday, the 27th, I believe, of September, I will be in Cherry Hill, North Carolina, welcoming <gasps> home all the Marines from Afghanistan. You? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, like 1,500 Marines. <gasps> yeah. Are you performing, or just... Yeah. Just doing like oh that's fantastic yeah. very cool it's very exciting well let me say that you're one of the mo- most admirable qualities of Sarah T is when we were over in Afghanistan 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 that's where we were in, in Durka Durka in Durka Durka that she was so good and so kind to these boys and I would absolutely tune out and I would break down <laughs> and shut down and she was still so nice and talking to all these she's these trying guys. to get some she's not trying to get yes. some you dumb but that was my whole How point was that you. there's nowhere to even have sex no, if you, you wanted can't. to have sex it's we're sweating like you you have 12 roommates basically yeah, it's not gonna like there's just nowhere to even go it's not it's even an if I wanted to no like that's just no you'd be surprised that that's not on their mind they would much rather take my perfume off my wrist and rub it on there and then yeah. just jerk off to it later. Like that's fine. That's what I give that's back. Right. <laughs> Did they do that? Yeah, <laughs> they do. They rub their. Yeah, yeah. They, they like. Me. They like to smell you it's and look at down. you. And they take pictures with you, so they'll have those pictures. So they can jerk off. They can do whatever they want, <laughs> and they can go online and look for the video I'm in that I might not have known about. <laughs> <laughs> that Brian has. Yeah. Oh, what have. about you? Red um, I'll be uh, tomorrow. Yeah, maybe you will oh, even yeah, be there I'll tomorrow. Be there at the ice house. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be at the ice house side room. Uh, there's an eight o'clock and a ten o'clock show, but you probably will probably be. I'll the, be the ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, probably, o'clock show, yeah. and uh, there's a lot of other good comics. Al Madrigal, uh, Benji, Tony Hinchcliffe. Whose kids are my god? Sam kids. Tripoli. Yeah. Oh, meow meow. Madrigal. And I will be tonight at the ice house in Pasadena at ten o'clock. Ooh, ooh. Meow meow. And then next week in Atlanta, the Funny Farm in Georgia. Hallelujah. Georgia. With Medea. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and that's fucking, that's your home state, man. Dude, yeah. Last time I, I that's where I was when I got the meningitis. <laughs> at, at the, the funny, funny Farm? farm. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So maybe I'll catch it. stay in my hotel room. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Contagion. You can only get it through saliva. <laughs> no, we <wave> mouth kiss. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sarah T, for being here. Um, what's your What's your Twitter? Sarah Tiana. Sarah with an H. Tiana with a Tiana. <laughs> and then T I A N A. And then I'm also on Facebook and um, LinkedIn. No, I'm just joking. I'm <laughs> not on LinkedIn. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on there? No, but you can also send me any emails through my website, saratiana.com. And buy yes, her CD. She answers them and buy her CD, which is called. Com- commodity, commodity, yeah. The picture's ten dollars, and it comes with a free CD. <laughs> <laughs> Download it on iTunes and yeah. check her out, you guys. And thanks, Red Band, for always doing this. This is your guilty and pleasure. For no yes. hat, Red Band. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. I know you look oh, foxy. Great song. Today. Uh, look how cute Brian looks today, everybody. To touch your body. All right, see, see you, you later, go. mommy. I 
welcome you to consider <laughs> my <laughs> foolish notion. <laughs> your mom's house my bonus. Baker's lotion. Hey. <laughs> Sarah was so singing Faith. We were just talking about uh, getting fucked. Let's get fucked. Let's get. Uh, let's get. Let's get. Let's get. And drunk. partying. Yeah. And you've been off the wagon. You were. You were pretty straight laced for a, a while. You I know, have been. Drinking. Yeah. I. I does I definitely eased up on drinking and anything else but then uh <laughs> what happened and last then... week was the charlie sheen roast you yes. know and i uh help uh submit jokes for that so i went and uh and we started drinking at 5 30 and we drank all the way till oh 2 30 in the morning once they were like kicking us off the sony lot and then i was going to go to an after party at jeff ross's house but then i was like i can't like i couldn't even feel my jeff feet ross. like they were numb by that time and then sunday my friends big and rich were playing at the fair uh, in LA, and yeah, I don't know if you know, but John Rich is one of my closest friends. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I'm friends with country stars, everybody. Well, oh, if I hear stars, two guys are. Just... We, don't, we don't even know they are in LA. John Rich won Celebrity Apprentice, too. Oh, all right, sorry. Right, but right. also, like. Uh, well, on Jersey whatever, Shore? if Otherwise, I hear I two guys it. are coming to town and one of them's big and the other one's rich, I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm getting on that bus. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's true. So I got so hammered at the concert that me and my friend had to sleep in my car for four hours. And I woke up and just had like Smashed. McDonald's wrappers. Oh, I was like, what happened? Like, it's a crime scene. <laughs> and then Monday he was supposed to leave. And then he called me at nine o'clock and was like, oh, we stayed in town. We didn't go to Salt Lake do you have a show and i was like uh i have a spot at the comedy store later at like 10 cut to two hours later the tour bus rolls down sunset stop honking stops in front of the comedy store and john and 20 people get out are you smoking cigars screaming my name and then they get into they come into the store which there's only like six people in the audience they buy everybody drinks all the comics they spend like 1500 bucks in like 40 minutes wow oh that's awesome and then of course they're like Sarah, (laughs) you know like i'm like uh, they sit in the front row john's smoking a cigar i'm like this is my house (laughs) stop doing that and so then we just sang country songs and drank till four in the morning on his tour bus and then the next night was ross's birth jeff ross's birthday party like it was just like then i go to new york and i haven't seen my friends in new york so we're like let's have let's see how much we can drink it's a contest you know like and people buy like i'm telling you men in new york are smoking they are you know what it is i think you just know it you just see them because you're not in a car yeah. Like you lock eyes and I had two moments where I locked eyes with somebody and I walked away and then I turned around and they were looking at me and then they it was like that moment of like should we say hello or is this weird? Wow. Did so you wake up? I've been drinking for two. That's what my liver thinks. <laughs> <laughs> did I wake up? No, did you did you hook up? No, not out there. She's lying. Yeah. I did not. I'd, I've been hooking up with another person, like, randomly from my Good. past. Good. Oh. Yeah, I've been booty calling in. A comic? PJ, you lucky no, bastard. No, he's not a comic. PJ. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. Every time I go to the store, he's like, Sarah Tierra. He always says my name wrong. You know how Tripoli always says my name wrong? Does he? Yeah. You know we, tri- yeah, we, he you know we call Tripoli Madonna, too, because he always has a new look. <laughs> I'm like, which Sam Tripoli is going to show up today? Madonna. Fighting crime oh. with a wig. 1920s Tripoli is in oh, the house. I would love adorable. to see. I would love to be back He's in the so days handsome. during like the, the the powdered wig days. I would love mm-hmm. to see his style of wig. Oh, what Tripoli would yeah, have? Yeah, I, I think Tripoli um, would have a fancy ass. You have a mohawk wig. wig. Yeah, whatever wig he had, Brett Ernst would copy him. <laughs> <laughs> I love Brett. I haven't been fucked up. I drink. I drink a little bit all the time. Like I feel like I have like two glasses of wine a night. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm kind of like that. Yeah, like I don't get. Oh, black, I don't like, drink alone. Well, Do you I drink, drink alone? I, totally. <gasps> yeah, and I watch YouTube videos of cats. <laughs> That's all I do. I love getting fucked up alone. I know it's like a bad thing. I feel like I it's like to get weird when I'm drinking alone. Oh, I love it. Because I... Yeah, I watch Jersey Shore. yeah. I, I don't watch. I don't I feel drink like alone a lot. I end up but like I'm the guy in cocktail where like somebody finds me in my boat with like a four thousand bottle Wait of scotch, minute. like that I've slipped my wrist with. <laughs> Wait, but you don't drink. You don't even have like a glass of wine alone. Like no. it just it has got to be a really rare occasion. I always really? save my wine. Too, I'm like, I what if I it. have a guy over? But I thought is that is that? <laughs> I don't want to drink all the wine by myself. I'd right. rather invite yeah. someone over. To yeah. Why ruin your stock? You know, like yeah. You gotta keep that shit. Pot alone, right? Uh, once in a while, I'll do that. Definitely. Definitely. But yeah. but the, the the alcohol I'd probably say twice since I've lived in this house, which is like three years. Yeah. And I know oh, each time I was like, one time I was like, you know what? I was pissed off. I'm just gonna have a beer or something like that. And 
Yeah, I, mean, I, I feel like, like drinking is a social oh, thing yeah. for yeah. me. Oh, like or trying to hook up with the other person by forcing them if to have I'm really strong home, vodka I don't drinks. need so. alcohol to enjoy Survivor. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, but, I fucking love but it. But sometimes I come home Sober. from shows and I'm so keyed up and I have to go to sleep. And it's like, I'm usually home alone because Tom's on the road. So I feel like, well, if I drink a glass of wine, then I can sleep, and then I won't be... Oh. Start smoking weed. Dude, I do, too. Like, I, I go back and forth. But weed uh, makes me lose my memory. That's the problem. And then I'll forget jokes. Oh. Like, I can't get too crazy into it. I can only do it for a finite amount of time. I think of more, more jokes. I, yeah. I, no, I think of more jokes, but hey, when I'm I on of, stage, I forget them. That's the problem. I think you just have to solve that problem by not going home. Like, when you're keyed okay. up after a show, you just stay out and drink with... <laughs> and then That's drive what I do. drunk and then get Oh, for sure I drive yeah, drunk. Yeah. I'm <laughs> so good at it now. This is a joke I wrote when I was stoned oh, last uh, night. Oh no. I did it an Asian woman once. She took me on a picnic at a dog park. That's fine. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> It's a buffet. <laughs> they don't but but that you was completely what? stoned, and I woke up. I'm like, I don't know if that's. I good. wrote a joke the it's other cheesy. day that was like, someone told me that I was like cursed when it came to men or whatever. Like I have a Babe Ruth jersey de- buried deep inside of me. I'm like, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> if I what? did have a Yankee buried inside of me, it'd be Derek Jeter and not <laughs> Babe Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> because it, you don't know the legend, like they say, the Boston Red Sox are cursed because they have a babe, the Yankees buried a Babe Ruth jersey. Like they, the Yankees traded to uh, again. No, because I'm anyways. a woman and I don't follow. It's sports. like a it's a baseball joke. Oh, that was good. All right, thanks, guys. We're not gonna end it on you snoring. Let's end it with you being like, "Sarah, do you want to have a drink?" Somebody send me five dollars on PayPal. Is this a scam? I think it is, unless they want a poster. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.